Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard, where we are playing our campaign, Rights of Horse. Support the tribes here, as we already took out a loan. And let's root out some corruption. We're at peace right now, so I'm going to try shifting around our trade. So let's make this our main trading port. And then we're going to put one merchant from Ostrakhan here. And this guy we're going to have shifting trade this with. So we are missing out on the trade we're generating up here. But we weren't making much off the trade to begin with. Move Kazan from the map, definitely going to do that. We're just going to leave these guys there for a couple more months. Okay, they suppressed them down. The Omanis is with Jofar. So they're in there. Yeah, we'll do this and then we'll, and we'll move them into East Africa. We're in no rush. We can be patient. We're not going for world conquest or anything. We're just seeing what we can accomplish. Okay, let's go for tribal fee. Well, let's see what's better here. Um, this gives us less aggressive expansion. Not that's really going to be too big of a concern here. And we are going to start raising war taxes. Our trade income didn't increase much yet. Yeah, it's just a little prestige. I think the issue is that we don't have Persian as an accepted culture yet. Um, but once we start spreading states down there, that's long term going to be a huge bump to our income, I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah, their option could have been to put it up here and push all the trade up here. Okay, the Yemeni separatists are done. So let's move down here and see what our options are. We have a truce with them for another five years. We've got Ajram. Yeah, I think Ajram is going to be our next target. Possibly Mogadishu at the same time. Yeah, that would let us beat up on Warsangali. So we'll take out Adron, then turn on Mogadishu and Warsangali. See if we can get some cash from them. And this army is going to push east unless Muscovy is forced to break their alliance. Now, oh, come on, that was the one thing you should have accomplished in that war. Okay, let's develop a little bit more production here. It's not our center of trade, so it's kind of unfortunate that we have to develop there, but it's getting the printing press, so. And we deal with rebels over this garbage territory. Yeah. 109 religious unity, I like it. Okay, what are you offering? 230 ducats. Is the province really worth much? It's worth some development. Um, let's get some development so we could get some base production.
It's going to have a little bit of unrest there once we pull our troops out, but that's okay. It'll go away as our just separatism um, diminishes over time. Okay, why don't we actually give that... What am I doing? Here. Give that to the tribes. And that gets rid of our unrest, so that works. And we're getting that corruption down. It's got a siege, a, of, a pip of siege, rather, um, which is nice. I like that. Let's make sure. Ooh, Bengal got beat up. But there are allies with Delhi. Something clearly happened there. And they did succeed in getting their independence. So now we've got a pretty respectable line system. Commonwealth, Sweden, Brandenburg. Bengal took a hit. But they might still have respectable cash reserves. And they could give that to us if they get the right kind of ruler or we help them out or attack people that they don't like. And we're losing a little bit of money, but we're trying to bring down that corruption. Wow. Okay. We're collecting war taxes for another couple months. There's 20 Navy tradition. We don't care about Navy tradition. Not even a little. Okay. We'll just go for the plus one, guys, because... That's all we really need. Okay, printing press. That would be really nice to get. Okay. Okay, crush both of their armies right away. Let's... A couple units over here, if we can. If we can. And let's get a couple units on each of those. We can take them out and take all of their money. I don't want that fort. It's not worth the money. And that's not much unrest. We're gonna just let that let that simmer. Okay, at least we've got some spending cash for the moment. Hopefully we can get some more from those African nations, Vassal of Delhi, Sang. They probably don't have too much cash um, because they clearly just lost a war. And we are burning through manpower, but I think we'll be just fine. The real reason why we want to increase our admin tech is to get more states. But those promoted cultures could help us a great deal. So Kurdish, 4% of our development in states. We really need Persian. We're going to need some more states to do that. Lawrence of Heathens, an idea cost. Now we're just going for the prestige there. We don't want to owe anything. Just 
prestige. Nice. National tax modifier. That'll help us. I mean, our finances won't be that bad off once we've converted more stuff and brought that corruption down. Then we won't be dumping as much money because we're really only losing the money that we're spending on rooting out corruption. Which was necessary in the early game. We needed we needed to to base our currency. Okay, full next them. Still about 250 ducats in over our heads. More debt than we have wealth. Let's see, is our trade doing any better? Not really. Come on, printing press. Okay. Let's see, 30 more percent. Hopefully that will spread some of that naturally. Huh, 149 ducats, that's not bad. And we don't want to deal with those rebels over that province. Okay, Guj is a vassal, so we can't invade them. Tibet is a vassal. And we have a truce with them. Yarkand, maybe? Yeah, Yarkand. Or maybe Chagatai. No. Yarkand first, Chagatai second. Sadly, there's a mountain here, but once we crush them there, then we could push and take the rest of their stuff. They have a gold mine, so we'll take that. Yeah, bringing down the corruption. I'm happy with the direction our country is going in. I'd love to be nice. Love to be splitting up th the cost of development between multiple kinds of monarch points, but we really need to stay uh, as close to target for military tech as we can. Okay, they ran, which is a good sign. Means that they're probably not going to try counterattacking us. Okay, Kilwa, who are your allies? Moravi, we don't care. And you should have a lot of money, last I checked. Only 500 ducats now. They'll lose some of that in the war. They've got a lot of pretty small Hey, small forts here. Nice. That not only reduces stability cost, but it adds a random event that you could get that gives you free stability. And extra stability would bring down our corruption, so I'm pretty excited about that. Make it the issue. Nice. I don't want that fort. 
It's just a drain on our money. Okay, Killa, what are you able to field? Basically nothing. Okay, we can pay that off. Still losing a little bit of money because we're trying to root out corruption so vigorously. Ravi wouldn't help him. Sounds good. Let's get in here. And here. And we'll send in those reinforcements. Condottieri. No, it's way too expensive. Was, I'd only accept it if it was free, actually. I don't like that. At some point, we are going to start getting cannons to help out our army. But uh, for right now, the more important consideration is certainly our corruption. Got that royal marriage. Okay, just one more. Okay, now that'll naturally spread. And at some point it will become affordable for us. Probably not going to be spreading too vigorously, at least while we're at war. And we do need it further than that one province. Okay, I'm half tempted to just leave behind the infantry and hit them here right as soon as they're done with the battle. Okay, so they retreated. They saw the writing on the wall. That's fine. Uh, our cash is gone. Let's see, how much does Afghanistan have? Hundred and forty-three. Might be worth it to beat them up over their cash. Yeah, it's just a capital fort. We'll do it. And that doesn't worry me. We're still, again, using a lot of cash to get that corruption down. <laughs> wow, they're just spreading out like mad. Well, it's Yarkand, and they have a Yarkand do attitude. Yeah, it's hurting our economy that they're rampaging through our land, occupying everything. Okay. Neither of them have a pip of siege. Actually, let's get this guy up here. Just 
loot his way through all this territory, one province at, at a time. And the problem with them occupying all this stuff is it's going to encourage our tribes to rise up. We'll just put those guys down. We've got enough trips in the area. Okay, that's the other problem with them occupying so much of our our land, even with it being garbage provinces, that's an issue. Okay, let's peace out Afghanistan for their money. And war reparations. You're not allowed to be allied to anyone. Okay, then we want their money. We want their gold mine. Let's see what else we can take. That's good enough for me. We are going to raise it. We are not going to increase the autonomy. We will there, though. And there. Okay, where do these guys need to be? Bashkir and Ermia. So Ermia should be over here. Bashkir. So many provinces. Bashkir is up here with gold production. Can't quite pay that debt off yet. Let's get this war exhaustion down. Uh, yeah, minus ten percent spread. Wow, that's a pain. I think we'll just save up our points, though. It will spread naturally. Eventually. Okay. Video is 23 minutes long. So we're going to keep it up. Almost close that out accidentally. Okay, um, what we want to do is find out which trade node is wealthiest. Lubak. I don't think we have any means of getting... our Persian node wealthy enough. Crush these guys just at, I don't know where they're going, but rebels running around is not in our interests in general. Now I'd love to get down to their gold mines, but I think I just want their money. They're going to be difficult. Okay, so we've got these guys we need to send somewhere. I was thinking up to Buryadia because we should be able to invade them. We can. Now, they shouldn't have much money at this point. Because we did take their gold mine. Yeah. But you, Korchim. There's 10 Horde Nature. We're looting, so that's not much of an issue. Let's 
Just gonna wait for this to fall, and then we'll have free reign down the coast until we hit their next fort, which looks like it's probably their capital, Kilwa. So we'll send one army down to capture that, and the other army will just loot each and every province along the way. Gain some more piety. And we're doing a good job. We're getting our corruption down lower and lower. Restore that royal marriage. Okay, Chagatai. I should when we beat up in Chagatai first. Because Korea will get involved in that war, so we probably want two armies, possibly, yeah, probably two armies over there to deal with all that mess. Hundred and twenty percent from the Golden War tribes. Oh. Okay, well we're sending this army west anyway, so let's put down our tribes in Bashgeard. Okay, do we want that? We really do want the Tolerance of Heathens. And our manpower isn't going as far as it used to, so I think we do want... want that next idea. Yeah, I think we're going to hold out until we take their capital at this rate. They refuse to play nice, so... We're not cutting them any breaks. Okay, we took Kilwa. I think that's all we really need to take, particularly because we're going to have some rebels here popping up. Let's march these guys up north. Okay, and where are their gold mines? They've got one in Kilwa. They got some in the south, but I'm not super concerned about those. Yeah, so they're all pretty much in the south, kill one and further. Let's take their money. Let's get war operations because that would be nice. Oh, they wouldn't give us all that. Would it look better if we did that? Yeah, that looked like a better map, I think. Well, why don't we try this? How far away are they from accepting that? We might as well get a little bit more... war score from them. And take that last province. There we are. Okay, so we took their two forts that we are promptly going to break. Now we're going to raise everything down. Definitely don't want to deal with any rebels. Break that fort down. 
And again, not in it for the Rebels. Okay, we could pay off this debt. Saves us with some ducats. That war exhaustion down. I think I'm going to break this fort now. We've got enough land down here that we can push wherever we wish. Not much concern. And Chagatai. Uh, so the downside of peace is that we lose horde unity and we're not collecting war taxes. But the good side is our institutions spread a little bit more. War exhaustion is going away. And the autonomy will be taken down a little bit all over the place. Okay, we don't currently have a focus. I think that's fine. That's how we want to keep it. Um, this guy's starting to get a little old, so it would make sense to try... setting our focus to admin. Trying to finish off those ideas. Okay, Yemeni, Yar Candy. Yeah, so we're okay. Yeah. Um, that's going to disappear in time, particularly once we get it all cored. So let's move this guy up here, send this guy all the way over to the east to prepare for our next war. The dock here. Your vassal Delhi. Delhi does really well in the current patch quite often. It's surprising. Okay, so this guy. I'm going to push over here to deal with Korea while we deal with Buryadia, and then we'll attack Korchin during the same war. So they do have two forts. We're just going to go for their capital fort right here. And collect some more taxes. And let's drop this down so we don't lose any, any money. We're still getting our corruption down a little bit. Once we've got some money in the bank from beating up on people, we can worry about Reducing our corruption. All right, what's our time looking like? 33 minutes. So I'm going to stop this video here and just start up another one. Thank you for watching.